So I've just been to Wix to buy a whole load of stuff. Oh my God, timber at the moment is very expensive. And also they didn't have all the sizes that I wanted, but I want to get on and do the job. And so, unfortunately, I just had to buy what was available. I'm hoping that it won't be too over-engineered, too big, too heavy, but we'll see how we get on. Um, so I was looking, I was advised to get a circular saw, uh, very nice um, stuff in Wix, but because I'm on a limited budget, I just couldn't afford it. I'll have to use the jigsaw and hope that I can cut a straight line. Um, there's a load of nice timber, not always in the size, and as I say, um, quite expensive, but the sizes that they have actually are quite um, useful sizes for what I'm doing. So I'm hoping that I've pretty much covered what I need. Um, I needed to get some varnish. I was advised to get some varnish because the floor with uh, moisture and what have you on it could uh, start to detach, the, the ply would detach from itself, I don't know what they call that. So I thought, okay, um, I've got some varnish, I've got some different wood screws, I've got glue, um, so hopefully I'm there ready. Oh, it's boiling in this cab. Right, onwards and upwards. Oh, and I'm back home. Welcome to the mess that is my abode and the darkness and all of that. And apologies for the lack of light for the moment. Oh, I need to make myself a cup of tea. So, Wix has been done. Far too much money has been spent. However, however, I'm calming down. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea now. Um, and the next bit that you see was filmed by Merlin earlier today. And I'm trying to explain what it is I'm trying to do on the inside with the boxes. Only Merlin's very ambitious with the camera, but thank you Merlin for taking the trouble to come and film me. And I think I was overexcited at him filming me. So it might just be a bit manic. Um, but you'll get to see roughly the idea. Omni, omni. Oh, <coughs> hello. <laughs> I am back in my van. I'm sorry about this. If you are one of my lovely viewers who are really not into the van videos, I apologize. But as soon as I get my van done, I'm on the road. And then you haven't got to see the van ever again, except in every video where I, anyway, it doesn't matter. So, in the last video, I put the floor in, and I, let me tell you, the floor, if you're getting seasick at any time whilst watching this film, we have a brand new cameraman, Merlin, who is very magical. And thank you very much for all the lovely comments that uh, you've been giving to Merlin. Um, in yesterday's video. Keep going that up because he seems to work for free. Anyway, so um, I've got the floor in as you can see. I've been advised, uh, and actually somebody has made a comment on this, that the floor will, I don't know what the word is, they did say it and I haven't, um, can't remember, but it will start falling to bits if I don't uh, look after it. So what I've got to do is put some yacht varnish or something like that on to protect the floor. So I will do that, even though there's going to be a carpet on the top probably, which actually with yacht varnish might mean it goes woo, and I go wee, and then there's a oh. But let's not worry about that too much. Anyway, the point of this video is about what's going inside, and it's all about boxes. Boxes, ladies. So, so I've come up with this cunning plan, here it is in intr intricate detail, as you can see. Um, and the only measurement I've got so far is 80 inches, which actually is wrong because it's, um, what is it, three foot twice? Six foot. <laughs> so, six foot long. So here we go, let's, uh, let's this is my, my airbed. 
okay? And I want to sleep. Now, I don't want to sleep with the bed up this end because if the bed is resting on something and it's there, when I come in, this is the, that's the door that opens first, it'll be, oh, I can't get in because the bed's in the way. So if I shunt the bed further back, I've got space to get in. You see, I don't have to open both doors. Cunning stuff. Then I could shuffle around like this and sit on the bed, use it as a seat. However, I want to get the bed as far that way as possible so it'll actually rest like that. Okay, so underneath will be storage in which I will put things like bedding, clothes, certainly not my cameras and tripods, won't be doing any of that because I won't be leaving anything expensive in the van, you see. But the bedding, nobody's want to nick my bedding, are they? At least I hope not. And also a smaller loo. That will go down there somewhere. Um, in there. So that's this side. Wooden boxes which will have battens here and can be lifted out. Three foot long, two foot wide, 17 inches high. Why 17? Because A nice suitable chair size. Suitable chair size, there we go. Suitable, <laughs> you are taking the mickey, Mr. Merlin, the cameraman. Suitable chair size, a, a normal service will be resumed very soon, ladies and gentlemen. Normal chair size is about this. Yeah, you, we've gone through, <laughs> this is unusable. This is unusable. <laughs> popped over to Julia's to uh, carry on the work because I know Julia's on her own at the moment and she's got the two kids so um, she's very kindly said she'll make me cups of tea because it's very hot and I'm a bit restricted in the back there because of all the cars so I thought I'd pop over here and utilize her forecourt as it were her patio at the front driveway I know what the words are so I'll tell you what I've been doing since I've cut up the ply and I've started to make sides. So I'm gluing and screwing. So come around this way, the lovely Julia is filming now. We have almost half a seat. I've just got to fix, this is actually the bottom. So I've got to fix that on. Then I turn upside down and put the, um, the lid on. Then we can put Joe in, close the van up for the night and no one will hear him. <gasps> Joe! Yes, cat. <laughs> so you've been helping with the glue, haven't you? Uh, yeah, he's glued my feet together. You little rotter, aren't you? Little rotter. Say hello to the folks. Wave. <laughs> right. I better just finish the last bit and then Joe can test it out. Hopefully. <laughs> if it breaks with Joe, I know I've done a rubbish job. <laughs> oh. This 
has been a job well done. It's not quite finished, but I'm, I'm actually impressed with what I've done. Uh, thanks to the lovely Julia for the tea and the sandwiches and all the encouragement. But come with me, gentle viewer, as I take you into the depths of the van. For at this end, we have the first part of the bed. The lid opens up for storage, so you can put in your bed clothes, clothes, water, various things. That will have a special way of clipping in, yet to be figured, but basically I've got an idea. This will be on wedged in here on special clips. But the moment of truth, I can sit on it. It's not too high. And if I so wish, I can sit at this table from this angle. I can also put a chair here and sit there that way, or two people can eat here or do whatever. The rest of the bed will come up that way. A bit trickier because it's got to navigate all of these things. Um, but in essence, when I am asleep, <sighs> oh sorry, <laughs> when I'm asleep, <laughs> it will be <sighs> lovely. Ah, another day on the van. Sorry about that, but the progress is happening. Uh, thanks for watching. I will be out soon. I'm just going to get this finished, and then we'll be taking it for a trip. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. Become a patron. Support what I do. Give me a thumbs up and all the rest of it. Till next time, goodbye.